You know, I don't think we realize how important the setup is. You know, once you have your hands on there correctly, it's important to get your body positioned, oriented to that golf ball correctly and consistently to make sure that that club is shallowing out at the bottom part of the arc of the swing and that you're hitting the ball solidly in the direction that you mean to hit it. And I have a system that I have come up with which I call the five-step setup that I think is a really simple way to nail this setup every single time. And you know, if you watch pros on TV, you watch the LPGA Tour or the PGA Tour, you'll find that in every one of those professionals' uh, approach to the golf ball, they have those five components that I'm just about to outline here for you. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to set up uh, a train track configuration with a crossbar here for, uh, for the ball position. Uh, step one is going to be to stand at attention or stand in your actual, in your normal posture. You know, I don't want you to, uh, to try to puff your shoulders back or stick your chest out or stand any more uh, uncomfortably than you normally stand. So you want to stand in your normal posture, keeping your spine in total alignment. That's step one. Step two is going to be to take your grip from a position where the, the club is up in the air like this. And when we take the grip, we want to make sure that we position uh, the forward hand or the, the target side hand where the bottom of the palm is on top of the golf club and the club is being held very much in the fingers. I won't go into the grip at this point, but step two is going to be to take the grip. Step three is a full extension of the arms such that the uh, right shoulder is just a little bit lower or the back shoulder is just a little bit lower than the forward shoulder and the arms are in full extension here um, and lowered to the point that the shaft of the club is parallel to the ground. Step four is a bow to the ball and when we bow to the ball we want to make sure that the spine stays in the same alignment from the top of the spine or, or the back of your head to your tailbone. And when we make this bow, we also want to make sure that the uh, weight on our feet is evenly distributed and our knees are soft. So we're going to bow to the golf ball. And if you happen to notice, when I bow to this ball, my club is nowhere near it. So I may actually have to shuffle a little to get the proper distance from the ball. I'm not changing my orientation of my arms to my body. I just moved my feet a little bit. And step five is a step with each foot equal distance, equal distance apart so that um, they're about shoulder width apart. And this is the five step setup. We want to make sure once again that the spine is in the same alignment as it was when I was standing up. So once again I'll do that quickly. So standing at attention is one, two is taking the grip and making sure that target side hand is held properly here at the top of the grip. The bone is wedged on top of the golf club here. Step three is a full extension of the arms, making sure that the club is square to the target line. Uh, the shaft of the golf club is parallel to the ground. And then four is a bow to the ball. Almost got it right that time. And five is a step with each foot, about shoulder width apart. And that's the five-step setup.